Greetings and salutations, my good people. Welcome back to my channel. And um, today we're going to continue uh, with the with the inking process of some characters that was that was done for done for an assignment that I did. And um, I'm not exactly sure of how this video is going to turn out. I think that I will just uh, speed up the process once I begin drawing. But before I begin drawing, I did just want to discuss just a few things that I did with this particular, with these particular drawings uh, that may be useful for you when you're developing your own characters. Um, so, so let's go ahead and take a look at these four different pictures here. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So, of course, uh, as you can see here, in the first picture, we have the, the straight ahead profile. And the second picture, we have the side profile. And number three, we have the, have a, the, the character from behind. And of course, the fourth one, we have the three quarters view. And as you can notice here, let me get my square here. This is uh, the VP here, which stands for the vanishing point. And the significance of the VP in these drawings is this is what I used uh, in order to, to draw the lines for the, the three-dimensional character here at the end. And I'm going to quickly show you how I got those lines. So if you, when you wanted to create uh, something very specific, if you're coming up with a, you know, a 3D turnaround, if you're creating a comic book, or you just want to, uh, you know, yeah, if you're creating a comic book and you want to have a, a 3D look, a 3D turnaround for your character, then if you want it to be precisely accurate, then this is a technique that you can use that will definitely get you all of the get all the anatomy in line properly from the from the straightforward view to the three dimensional view. So let's see how we got to the lines here in a three dimensional view. So what I did was from the vanishing point. The vanishing point here is we take a point from the vanishing point and we bring it straight over to the three-dimensional character here. And this is going to be, this is the horizon line here. And the idea is very, very simple. So for example, when you want to draw the eyes, this is the eye line here that goes straight through the character's eyes. Like so. And let me label this one eyes. Text. Okay, so again, we're gonna label this line eyes. Large. 12. Okay, so this line is gonna be for the character's eyes. I'm gonna put that there to the left side. And then, and then also, I, I should mention that it's really up to your own discretion how many lines that you want to draw. Um, so if you wanted to be extremely specific, you could draw a line from, from the bottom of the eyes, like so, all the way over. 
And then as you can see the this first line here, let me move it up a, little, a bit. This can be for the top of the eye, like this. So as you can see here, the eyes perfect, perfectly match up from the straightforward shot to the side, side view to the three quarters view. All right, um, but I'm only going to, I'm only going to add the nose line and I'm going to add the lines for the lips and for the chin and for her, for her hairline and also the ears. So let me continue to do that. So now this line is going to be for the nose. Bring that across. And then let's do a line for the mouth. Top lip line. Let's do another for the bottom, the lip, for the bottom lip. Like so. Bring it down just a a bit. Grab it. There we go. This is the, again the bottom lip line. And let's do another line for the chin. So And let's do one for the hairline. And lastly, let's do one for the top of her head. And okay. Okay, so I'm not going to do the one for the for the bottom of the ears, the top of the ears here. It's pretty good. It's on the same, the same level as the eye, so that's fine. So now just to be, uh, just to label these so we keep everything in order. Uh, let's go ahead and label these lines right quick. Let's see, let's grab our text and let's label top of head. Let's drag this over. Then let's do hairline. Keyboard would work with me, and we can continue. Okay, there we go. Again, the hairline. Right, so we got that. Now let's. You know, it would be useful to do the eyebrows as well. Um. When I originally drew this, I did draw a line for the eyebrows, which you can see here in light blue, but uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I think we have enough lines. So we, we get the idea uh, of how to create uh, the 3D grid. That's what this is, essentially. Here to the right, you're creating a 3D grid um, so you can draw your character in, in the correct perspective. And let's label a few more of these lines. The nose. Eight. The nose line. And then let's do one for the lips and for the chin. The 
lips. So, we'll just put it up on the top here. And then let's do one more for the chin. There we go. And there we have most of the lines labeled, the main ones labeled. And okay, that's good for the labeling. So let's see here. Now, let's see, let's draw one more line. Let's get the color. Let's get the color red. Use red. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw another line. Here, this is the beginning of the box that the character is going to be in. Here. Straight. Okay, like so. And then... So the idea is... So let's look at the... Let's look at the, let's look at the top of the head line here, top of the head. So we're going to come all the way across. And this is the top of the head. This is the, the cross section or the point here. It's, So this is where the lines intersect, where this red dot is. But then the next thing you would do is you would take another line from the vanish point here, from the vanishing point here, and come all the way across like this. And this line is going to be the top of the character's head in a 3D perspective view. And you would do the same process uh, for each of the lines to bring your character in, into 3D. And so for example, again, let's look at the, the hairline. Again, the hairline intersects here with the vertical line and the horizontal. So we just keep coming through. And this is the point where the hairline um, is at the character's forehead. And then let's do one for let's do one for the nose. The nose is here. So again, this is where the nose line intersects. The horizontal and the vertical lines meet. And we come all the way through, and there we have the bottom of the character's nose. And then the lips come straight across. And actually, you can see here, the lips in the 3D character could be a little bit higher than they should be. Um, I might change that at the end of the, the once I get there. Um, but you get the idea. So this is the lip line coming straight across. All right. And lastly, the chin line coming again from the vanishing point. This is the chin line here where they intersect and we keep coming through. And there we have the chin line for the character in 3D. So now you can you can have all the all the lines that, that you that you deem necessary 
in order to get uh, the specifics into your 3D drawing. Uh, so that's pretty much the idea for that. And this is how I created this uh, 3D version of the character here. And so what I'm going to do now from this point is I'm just going to speed up the video and I'm going to do the inking process. And uh, I think that would be it for this video. I wanted to keep it pretty short. Um, and yeah, so maybe I'll come back at the end with a few final notes. But um, other than that, um, please feel free to comment and uh, leave any suggestions or any feedback uh, that you might have or any questions that you might want answered. And with that said, I will begin the silent mode. Silencio.